Third one. There's three good claps on that. And uh, welcome to another interesting piece of information with me, Lawrence Grant at My Photos Forever. Um, today um, I'm doing actually uh, a four camera setup which uh, has never been done before and an awful lot to remember um, besides the fact that we've got to use the, the clapper board here uh, to uh, to make sure that we, we sync our size. We've now got um, uh, a camera here, we've got a secondary camera as a close-up, we've got um, a table camera and we're also recording the whole video experience with the GoPro. Um, so hopefully this is all right, an awful lot of things to to switch on, especially when you, you're doing it yourself, you've got, you know, camera here, um, which which actually I'm, I'm using a remote control to switch on the main camera that we've got here. Um, I've got a, another remote control that, that allow me to, uh, to to do some zooming in on the um, on, on the secondary camera here and uh, we've got some video lights um, which allow me again to switch on and off as you see the video lights that the, they can be seen um, overall. <coughs> so hopefully we've got all the setup. Uh, we've got the audio track uh, being recorded by a separate thing but, but the cameras will be recording their own audio track so hopefully it will help to, to sync up. Um, the, the video lens I'm using today um, on the main camera is a Samyang 50mm prime lens. Um, it's got an aperture of 1.5. Uh, it's a T series, uh, T standing for the transmission side of it, uh, rather than an F1.4. But uh, I've got it set up at um, F5, currently at F5, at 5.6 because um, it's fairly bright in here. We've got some extra lights to fill in the shadows, but um, also I've stepped it down because uh, that there's just no need for uh, that much depth of field required. So as you can see, we've got all these little remote controls, clapper board and whatever, and this is the lens I was going to talk to you about. This is, again, one of the Samyang lenses, um, similar, similar to what we're, re we're doing on the main recording. Um, this one is the... Um, the 24 mil and this one um, will be used mainly for wider shots um, sort of wedding video standard wedding video 24 mil uh, you can shoot round most of the the shots that thing they were using a 50 mil which seems tends to be very good for a fixed lens very very good focal lens for um, for cameras as it, as it basically sees the the image as your eyes do 50 millimeters is the optimum size um, 85 would take us in closer um, if required um, this one is the 50, uh, 24 mil and as you can see um, it's got two two cogs um, around the fo focusing rings one um, will do the aperture as you can see it's it's got a uh, aperture of 22 to um, t 1.5, and also um, it's what they call a declicked aperture. So there's no clicking, obviously, because it's called declick. But there's no clicking in the aperture ring, so it's a nice and smooth transition from one end of the aperture scale to the other. So you might be able to see the the aperture opening and closing. That's fully wide there and fully closed, fully closed there, okay, so nice blading, smooth, just about enough, you know, just enough resistance there to, um, to what, to, to, to be right. Um, now, this also got the, the second ring, and that allows you to put it onto a, a video rig, and uh, attach it to a follow focus mechanism, so you can, you can alter the focus, uh, and get a fine tune on that. So you've got the two rings, and the beauty of these lenses, or the the Samyang, besides the fact that they're very very well priced, and um, mainly because they're manual lenses, they don't have any contacts. As you can see, there's no contacts in the in the lens to 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 talk to the camera. But then you don't need that when you're videoing. You you want to be able to manually control most of the lens. 
um, <coughs> manually when when you when you're doing video recording anyway. Um, but the 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 gap here between the two focusing rings is the same on all the range. So we've got the uh, the aperture ring and the focus ring both in the same place. So it basically means you can take that off a rig and put another one on and um, it'll be exactly the same position so you don't need to worry about that. Um, this has got um, uh, a Hoyer, um, j just um, a, a, a UV filter on here, but a lens protector, anything like that just to protect the lens uh, generally. So, so there you have it. Um, so you've got uh, a very, very nice weight, quality, build, um, all the necessary features. A price of, you know, four, four fifty on, on on this particular one, um, four hundred fifty pound, um, and less on some of the other ones, depending on the range. Really, the eighty-five mil, round about two hundred fifty pound to three hundred. Uh, 50 mil, about 300. This one, 24 mil, tends to be about 450-ish, 500. They do a uh, 35 mil. They do uh, an 8 mil fisheye. Uh, they do a 100 mil macro, 135 mil. So you've got a whole range depending on, you know, where you're going to go with uh, with with a lot of these well, a lot of these things. So um, there you have it. Lens cap back on. Lens protector. And there's the lens cap, and, and obviously it comes with a hood and everything. So, so that's that. Um, and just to, just to um, just to finish off uh, for the time being, we've got this, as I say, this multi-camera setup. Um, the, the the disadvantage is we, we've got a few a few things, um, and we've got a few advantages. Obviously, um, <coughs> the main camera that's shooting at 50 mil, five point f 5.6 at a 50th of a second. Um, fine, that's okay. We've got that all set up, as you can see. Um, our secondary camera here, um, it, we're using a Sony camcorder from um, from about ten years ago. But you know, quality still there. Um, it has um, the facility to have a fully articulated screen here. So you know, that's making a big difference to be able to set up, especially if you're doing it on your own. Um, and you know, this is a one-man job, but it shouldn't be. And um, so we've got we've got that that's on a DVD tape, and then we've got our uh, small uh, Fuji camera doing our close-up work. Um, problems there are um, there's not a lot of control on there, so it's just recording. Um, again, similar to the um, to the camcorder, we can't do much control there. And uh, same with the GoPro, we're getting a wide-angle view. Uh, so that we can we can see then, and again the depth of field is is uh, is not in play. But at this level, at this sort of sort of blogging situation, we we don't really need it. So uh, so there you have it, and uh, and hopefully uh, at the end of the at the at the end of the um, the edit, the whole thing will come together. So um, I'll leave it with you, and uh, see you next time. Bye for now.